Hey, I'm happy morning show. Special guest today, Jonathan McDaniel from the yeah. hit show, Hit the Floor. You have to smoke Olivia though, dog? <laughs> I ain't do it, man. I'm innocent to prove you guilty. AM Caffeine Morning Show. Get your morning started the right way with the AM Caffeine Morning Show. Uh, on Friday, man, we always have, we just try to bring you special guests. And today, what's real cool about this guest today, man, is like I've been knowing this cat since he was. I don't know man Since he was like 14 Like seriously I've been able to watch This rapper Actor Grow up literally In front of my eyes And mature And become The man that he is today So I think it's really Really fly That I have my man Jonathan McDaniels In the building But I know him as Little J dude I mean, I know we, I, I know he's a grown ass man. Don't be because he's bigger than me. Now he might beat me up. <laughs> but my man, Jonathan McDaniel, star of the VH1 show, hit the floors in the building, dude. Man, appreciate you, Jay. Guys. What's up, homie? What up? Now, first off, who's booking? Our guests Because it last week We had fish Shout out to my But it, what's all this Light skin stuff going on <laughs> Wow <laughs> Like That's a there, huh? no, And I don't even want to go there If it wasn't for there. little J But can somebody get Idris Elba or Don <laughs> Cheadle <laughs> <laughs> We can't get no dark no, We brothers. have you in here So we're oh, good Oh She tried to take dark We only need one dark <laughs> right, We only need to, one dark She tried to take a shot Yeah Trying to take it on the court right. Team light skin <laughs> 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 what up, Don? My boy, Jay, Jonathan McDonough in the building. Little Jay, yeah. as I know him, has been in the game. Jay, how long Like, how long has it been now, dude? It's over 15 years now, man. I dropped my first record when I was 15. Um, and, man, I'm still going, man. Just still pursuing the dream still. You know, it's. It, I think that there's something different Um when people get into this industry uh, for purpose, you know, over popularity, which is something that I, I, I tweeted um, a few weeks back. And, and what I meant by that is, you know, when you have a purpose and, and when you love what you do, you know, it doesn't seem like work. Right. It doesn't seem, you know, you know, because obviously you guys are doing what you love. So, you know, when you have fun with it, you know, and, uh, and you do what you love, it doesn't seem like work. So the years just go by, you know, and... Sometimes I only get reminded of how long I really am or have been in the game until I run into, you know, people like you that I've known that for, you know so for so long. That you know for so long. Right. You know, and I'm just like, yo, what up? You know, and it's like, yo, you know how long I've been knowing Jay? And it's just like, <laughs> right. everyone knows the same thing. And like, since he was this high and now he's tall and now he's growing. So it's, um, it's a beautiful thing, man, because over the years I've, I've been able to gain so many great relationships with people. So it's good that people still have so much love for me and so much respect. There it is, man. AM Cafe Morning show. So Ron C, Smooth D, Rhea Beer. We're going to talk to Jay. He's going to rock with us for this whole hour. And I really want to just talk about his introduction into the game, his journey from being, you know, coming in the game as a rapper. Yeah. And then, you know, making that transition to becoming an actor and then someone that is on the show that, I mean, I was like six million, seven million viewers like yeah, it's every week. Yeah. So I want to talk about just the, the the maturation of his career, AM Cafe Morning Show, Ron C. So let's don't hold on to this mix. We're going to get into this. Is this brought to us by who? By Gerber today? What are we doing? Because we're Similar. Similar. Yeah. All right, then, babe. Let, let, let's do the breast milk. Oh, we AM Cafe Morning Show's in the building. Jay's with us. Let it go, Ron C. <laughs> Special guest today, Jonathan McDaniel. <laughs> Yo, I gotta say, y'all keep it turnt in the AM. <laughs> it's mad early, dude. I mean, wow. Yeah, man. If you ain't up, you better get, get your, up. Get your, punk, get your punk ass up. <laughs> yeah, now. exactly. Shouts out, shouts out MCA. Right. <laughs> right. Gia. Gia. So, Gita. Jay. <laughs> Something for the nine five. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jay, man, tell me. What was your first introduction into the entertainment industry? What was the... So you came in as a musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came How did in, that all manifest? Man, it was a long journey, man. Um, you know, I went from being homeless on the streets, struggling, trying to make it, trying to get out there. I was fortunate to run into a mutual friend of all of ours, Livio Harris. Who, what uh, up, Liv? Yeah, what up, Liv? Um, 
he, you know, he took me under his wing and he was like, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, manage you and, and, you know, get you where you want to go. And so I got my first chance to get my first album out, uh, through Hollywood records when I was 15. Um, and it's, you know, it was, it was a learning experience, man. I got to tour. I was on tour with Destiny's Child, Eve, That's Dream, wow. uh, Nelly and the St. Lunatic. So it was an experience of a lifetime, man, to be able to come in the game, you know, and to witness something like that and be a part of just, you know, you know the whole experience having a number one record Jermaine Dupri uh, produced It's the Weekend featuring Candy so right um, you know it was a great time man and from there you know it just it boosted me into the industry to where you know I, I finally got the opportunity to you know uh, start my career and go from the amateur level like I said from that point I was just hitting backstage concerts trying to get on stages with people I was out there with the tip bucket Santa Monica Pier you know what I mean <laughs> right. the whole thing you know right. what I mean just the whole grind you know being out there on Hollywood Boulevard just like cats do now you know I was doing that 15 years ago right. so. what, you know what I you brought up Livio and, and shout out to, to Liv who I've known for a long time yeah and what in this industry what seems to be something that you don't find a lot is loyalty yeah. Word. and I have to say man you have been rocking with Livio from the time that I, I have known you, and <laughs> Livio has always championed you from day one. When you meet Word. Livio, the first thing that comes out of Livio's <laughs> damn mouth is something about Jay. Yes, yeah, he real. was telling me back then, yeah, this dude is the next Will Smith. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but he said it with such conviction. That's real, and. All this time, you guys have still been together, and mm -hmm. you just don't find that Never. anymore. When artists, actors, they rock with somebody for a certain amount of time, and then they reach a certain level of acclaim, they sh they usually shake the person that had a lot to do with it. And I'm speaking True. from experience. You can tell I'm a little upset about You're that. You're a little salty <laughs> yeah, right I'm now. still salty. <laughs> Doc put a lot of people on, I'm man. Still, I can, I'm I can, still salty. I can say that. I didn't see Doc put a lot of people on. <laughs> but... It's just really dope, man. I commend you and Livio for still rocking it, together for all these damn years, dude. Word. That 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 mean that that's a lot. It's a testament to the type of person that you are. I appreciate Absolutely. that, man. We take pride in that. You know what I mean? Loyalty is everything in this industry because, you know, without that, man, the money and the fame, all that, you know what I mean, don't mean nothing. It's about the relationships. If you're able to come out of this with real relationships with people and, you know, loyalty doing business, then I think you you know, you did what you're supposed to do. So after your first after your first album, when when do you get the acting bug? When is is that during that time? Like how does how do you start to make the transition to want to be an actor? Actually, man, it was the opposite. I was I was uh, I was against being an, an actor. I, I'm naturally attracted to acting, but at the time when I transitioned from music to acting I was I was fighting it because you know the music industry at that time was in a really crazy funk with the whole digital era and you know Napster and downloading and everything was changing so the game was changing and so you had to explore other talents and you know one of those talents that I had was acting so it was something that I wanted to do mm -hmm. you know I was very interested in it but at the time when I transitioned to it um, you know, I was I was reluctant um, only because you know the simple fact that I, I'm a musician. As far as I love music, you know, and um, just taking that time to really think about you know what type of actor I wanted to be. If it was something I was just gonna use um, to continue my career, but you know, it was something that I, I knew that if I if I stepped into it. Um, I would have to take it serious, so I took a step back after like my first independent role as a film that I did. I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have maybe have seen it or maybe haven't, uh, but it was called Norris Hair Salon, real indie right, yeah. indie film, real indie. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it was on BET a bunch of times, so everybody was like shouting it out, like "Yo, Jay's on Norris Hair Salon." I'm like. Be quiet. Uh, um, no, I'm just messing around. But no, nah, it was a, it was a dope film. It was a great experience for me to be able to to get that chance to be on set to see how it works. And from there, that sparked something in me. And not long uh, after that, um, 
I had been knowing Raven Simone through mutual friends and we had hung out once or twice and she called me because there was an opportunity for a role that fit my description and right. she called me like Jay you know um, I know you're looking you know to get into acting there's a role you know it's a couple episodes I don't know what it's going to lead to but if you want to come audition for it and that right there was just the biggest thing for me oh, that's I was dope like, that she did that that's hot she reached out to me to like you know what I mean put that hand out so I was just like you know definitely and we had such great chemistry uh, going into it that I think it was just awesome that, you know, uh, I got the chance to play Devon Carter on That's So Raven. And um, like I said, it was only supposed to be a couple episodes and I ended up doing three seasons wow. on the show. Wow, that's crazy. That's and right. so, you know, being on that show, learning from someone who's so great like her and everyone else that was on the show, um, it sparked the seriousness uh, inside of me about acting. And, and, I, and I, I grew to just love so much about the process that you had to go through as an actor and um I took some time off when I left the Disney world because I didn't want to be considered as a Disney actor. I didn't right. want to be considered, you know, into that whole child actor situation. So I took some years off, got back to the music, and I started studying acting. Uh, there was a lot of books uh, that I would encourage a lot of young actors or inspiring actors to pick up. The Power of the Actor, uh, Ivana Chubbuck, uh, The Intent to Live, Larry Moss. These are great books um, to learn from because a lot of the greats have... Uh, been coached by them uh, personally but they just give you the real insight on what it is to be an actor and how much actors have to go through I don't think people really realize what goes into acting uh, everyone right. just thinks like oh yeah I can get on there and whatever right. right there's a lot when you see Will Smith change into and becoming you know, that, and becoming char- that, that person. character yes that's something right there like we were just talking yeah. about on break Leonardo DiCaprio Crazy. in this film right. I mean like you said he went in a year prior to, to filming he was already processing that he was going to be in this position and I think um, mentally you know there's a lot that goes on with that so I think you just have to be a very um, deep person within yourself because acting is really all about knowing yourself Mm -hmm. I think you have so many we all have so many characteristics in us and it's really up to you to be able to um convey that to the script and say if this person is angry what's my ang- what's my angry right you know what right. I'm saying like and what's th- gonna take me right there. exactly and so you do a lot of substitutions in your real life where you take a lot of situations that are in the script and you apply it to your real life how do I feel about this this person like how would I feel if I really hated this person and so man there's a lot that goes on with it so I'm just I'm, I'm blessed to be able to have transitioned into being an actor and a lot of people have um, been able to see my work and understood that I'm really taking is serious and I hope to succeed. When now, you- how long does it take you to come out of character? Do you ever find yourself like walking around at home still just thinking stuck? you're like, yeah, just, you're still that person? Watch out, watch out, set. watch out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's uh, it, it, it's hard um, because there there there's moments, you know, especially when you're so deep in a certain character. I remember when there was a there's a film that I did that's on Netflix, great film called In the Hive, mm-hmm. and um, that just came on Netflix like in September. I think, right, right, right. Yeah, and good. so it's a um, it's a film that you know uh, that really pushed me as an actor. There's so many layers to this character. So much this kid had to go through in the movie, and um, I really pushed myself to the limit filming this uh, this this movie. And we we did it in 18 days. Wow! Literally, wow. like 17 hours a day on set, consistently, never stop, no days off, and. Coming out of that, it was very hard for me to really calm come down back, come back it. down because this guy, you know, and we and we really shot some of the film in the jungles. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like we really went to some areas that, like, was deep and and and, and there was a lot going on uh, in, in the situation where you know some things happen. You know, and it makes you realize, like, man, this is real. Like, we're in a neighborhood where a lot of this really goes right. on mm-hmm. because of their circumstances, and we're shooting a movie about this, you know, like, 
there's a lot of emotions there. And so, um, you know, it took me so it took me a while to come down off of that. Same thing with Hit the Floor. Like, when I'm in it, you know, we're in it for, like, three to four months straight. And it's every day. And, the, and, the, and the, we're learning two episodes at the same, same time. time. Now, that's crazy. You too. know what I mean? We're shooting two episodes at the same time. And then while we're shooting those, here comes the back two right after that. So, we're learning two more at the same time while we're shooting two. And there's, you're so in it that I don't really get to come down until we really wrap All the way the finished. Because once we wrap, then I can finally say, okay, and I let it go. But then, you know, obviously, like... You've been in it, you know, and, and then your you could be working on other projects at the same time. Like I've been seeing right. this clip of you. I'm not sure what movie it is. It kind of went viral, oh, and yeah, you were yeah. mean as hell. I was like, <laughs> just knowing you on a personal like, level, I was him. like, that's not him. Like he's the nicest dude I know. And I was like, dang, he really like went in. Man. What What is that? What movie? It's is a that? film called Call Me King. It's dude, on, you it's were on Netflix mean. as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that 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 clip went viral. It was crazy. So many people started uh, reacting to that clip man and it sparked the, the internet real crazy but um i have fun i mean like i said i love projects that push you that you know they give you something to work on and it's fun like acting is one of the, the funnest things that you can do because you're so free you're able to do so much and, and you never can judge your characters i mean literally if you are a killer if you're you know whatever it is that you're playing there's no limits to it so you know you can really Create as right. an artist, right. you know, there's yeah. freedom there. You right. know what I mean? And so, um, I think as an uh, as a true artist in myself, um, you know, I was drawn to the craft, and so it's been one of the things that has really given me, you know, such a great opportunity to share my talent. Because, you know, how did the um, so the whole hit the floor thing from from the beginning was mm -hmm. it? How did you hear about it? Was it from an agent you went and and auditioned? Like, how did that all even start? Yeah, actually, and this what was crazy is that VH1 just released the audition tape. Oh wow! To, I want to that. see that to the show, and I was like, oh, don't do it, yo! This is three <laughs> years ago. <laughs> I didn't know if I was gonna book the road, no, but. Um, no, actually, what's so crazy about the show Hit the Floor is that it wasn't called Hit the Floor at that time. It was actually called uh, something else. And it was... There's a there's a season, or, or it used to be a certain season in the industry, uh, acting industry, that's called pilot season. Right. And, and during pilot seasons, when all the new shows that have been written and have gotten picked up from the networks are all given a chance to be casted and to be tried as a new show that might get picked up by the network. And uh, this show, Hit the Floor, was a pilot, and it was actually the last uh, audition for pilot season. Wow. Pilot season season was ran out was and all, done. all the shows had been booked up and hit the floor was one of the last auditions I went on and I remember going in and I was reading the characters uh, uh, description and I didn't really feel like German like like I didn't really feel like it was me at first and um, and I just did the audition and I remember going home and then they called me back and I'm like really they did you feel back? so when you did it did you feel I mean obviously you gave it your all but yeah, did you feel course. like oh, I don't I don't really know well, yeah because it's just like I didn't know where they were going with that. I mean you have to understand this is VH1 and so I don't and, see and a lot is, of is scripted from them I was gonna say is this VH1's first scripted it's not the first was, single was, ladies was the first okay oh, right. but okay. uh but this is a, but this is their their second drama and so because they do mostly reality I've never seen them do like too much scripted. Right. And so I was just thinking, like, where are they going with this character? Like, you know, is it, you know, is it over the top? I don't know. You just never know what, what they're looking for. So you just go in there and you just make your choice. Um, and so they called me back. And uh, I remember going into the, the call back thinking, like, okay, well, obviously they like, like me. Right. They called so me back. They called me back. So I'm like, you know what? I'm a really let me go in right. I'm yeah. a really, really like you know try like you know to 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 bring what I think Jeremy could be because at first it was just an audition and you're just reading cold reads, mm -hmm. but you know now it's like I really want to take Jeremy and form him right. And from there they called me back to a network testing and that's when you actually go get a chance to. Um, audition in front of the network and they do a chemistry read with you and perhaps the leading character which in this case is Taylor Page who plays Asha right she was there to test read with, with all you. the other so at that she point she was already cast. casted she was already casted she was casted at yeah. the network read uh, we weren't yet and, um, and it's a funny story with her because when she walked up for the network uh, casting she's, she's so funny that she had to mention this she was like I know this is crazy I don't want to mess you up in your audition she goes but I have to tell 
tell you, I went to your concert when you were opening <laughs> up <laughs> for B2K and IMX on tour. Speaking of fans, that's crazy. Up, but <laughs> right, she she came to the concert and she had. I mean, we're we're a couple years uh, apart, so she had to be, you know, like I don't know, twelve or thirteen at the time when I was fifteen, sixteen, and for her to bring that up was so funny because she was like, I know I have your poster autograph somewhere in my mom's house, and I'm like. <laughs> You really gonna come and say this to right me now. right, right now on, before I go into network? Like, really? But it broke the ice. Yeah. Right, right. And it was a cool moment because it was like, it really like took the edge off. And you had some type of connection already. Right, right. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't notice, man. When you go to network or you go to like a chemistry like that, it's real nerve wracking because um, when you're shooting a pilot, they actually make you sign the contract right there on wow. the spot. Really? Your agent and them go at it to where there's a contract already there for you because once they make their pick it's they time want, to go they, it's already in, it's it's a, already in the so work so at this right. point in the audition process was there anybody else who you were kind of competing with yeah there was another German that was there and, <laughs> the bootleg uh, German the bootleg German the bootleg German <laughs> I like that shout out to the bootleg German good looking out on giving me that role bruh <laughs> no but um, yeah there was another German there and actually uh, McKinley was there who plays Derek on right. the show right. so it was really ironic that we were all there at the same time but uh we went in we had a great time and i remember them just you know giving me the freedom to just be like you know what you know asha and german they've been together for a long time they've been friends for a long time just have fun mm -hmm. so that great moment that me and taylor shared for you know before i went in was great because it gave us a chance to really laugh and organically have right. you know what i mean some chemistry there and it was funny you know for us to be able to interact together so I think, you know, that's how I booked German was just really honestly being myself. Just right. going in there and, you know, having fun with it, which is crazy because I never would have thought that in the beginning of the of the audition, audition. process because right. like I said the description says this is what they're looking for and in Hollywood you like to tend to what they're looking for what they're looking for. for right you don't really get a chance to say no this is what I want to do because you got to be Johnny Depp or Leonardo DiCaprio right. to, <laughs> to be able to, to really, do that yeah to really take care of a <laughs> take control of a character and say this is what is you know it, 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 what the character is going to be but um, it was a great opportunity man and when I booked it it literally no joke was 15 minutes after I left the chemistry read with Taylor and everyone, I signed the contract. I went in the room. I did my audition with Taylor. We had a great time. We made everyone laugh. I left. Everyone went their separate ways. We were like, good luck, everyone. Good luck. And I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the freeway headed home. And my agent called me. They're like, good news. Got it. And I'm like, what's going on? He goes, you, are you driving? I'm like, yeah. He goes, you need to pull over. Ah! I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, you can't be driving right now. I got something to tell you. So he tells me that I booked the show and I literally stopped my car and I, you know, I started thanking God. And I was right. just like, man, this is one of the best moments of my life because it's so hard to get a serious regular role in this industry. Yeah. And when yeah. you get one, it's a true blessing. And it was my first one. And it was just like, man, about time that someone gives me an opportunity and a chance to go out there and do what I do, you know? And so I loved it. When you left, and you're on your, and you're driving. How did you feel? Did you feel like I got that? Or are you just like I don't, I don't have any idea? Like what what was your 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 gut feeling? You know what my gut feeling was that that I laid it out on the line, and and if I didn't get it, I wouldn't be disappointed. Because you did the best that you could I do. Because I knew I did the best that I that I could do. I knew that I killed it from my from from my standards, and I was like, hey, you know, it's up in the air because obviously you can't make them make the decision. So, but I felt good about what I did, and so you know, do, uh, feeling that is a great feeling because there's nothing worse than leaving an audition thinking you left something now you could have did better. Right. I mean, that's the worst. Right. You know, but uh, no, I felt great about what I did, and so. It was uh, it was pure validation when I got the phone call because it was just like yes, yes. I got you know this. it was one of those real like, I'm rich bitch <laughs> <laughs> wow really now, no. been, I'm sorry how have you been That's able to like to stay so humble because I see the women on social media are going crazy and Team German and yeah, Man yeah. Crush Monday and all this stuff <laughs> all the time. but you're still like the same dude because some people let it go to their heads of course of course you're still like it is what it is. I mean, you know what? One thing I do is I, I I appreciate every last one of my fans. I mean, anyone that's out there, shout out to all the fans, Jonathan McDaniel fans, Jeremy Vega fans. Um, 
I, I, I appreciate that to the fullest extent um, from the bottom of my heart only because I've went through so much to, to get, get there where I'm at right. that it makes me feel good when people come up to me and they say you know I saw your movie man and, and it, man you did a great job in it and it's just like wow like people really see my work and they think about my work mm -hmm. you know and, and, it, and it leaves them with an impression for them to see me in a random store and for it to pop out at them and so um you know that's a blessing to me and I, and I feel so good when that happens and so uh i don't let it get to my head man i feel like i have a really great grounded system around me you know mm -hmm. all my family is really grounded they keep me humble um and you know I, I i never got into it for the fame for the you know man crush mondays <laughs> that is hilarious <laughs> you know what i mean uh, I so see it all the time. did like, you double tap Rhea? i know you yeah, double, double tap you double tap like, let me you show, some tap. <laughs> show, some show me some love please i think i posted a few team germans i'm like <laughs> yeah. yeah she did she shows them like every time i post that that, that hit the floor post she's showing love she has, Shout out hashtag him hashtag <laughs> yeah good looking out you know but yeah no it's, it's great man uh i love it I, I don't think there's no reason for it to go to your head i mean it's it's kind of ridiculous when people start feeling themselves over <laughs> one or two projects. And it happens every, every day. Right. It's industry, just so funny because most people, when they get to that level, they go the other way. Right. As far as their, as far as their, their, their attitude and right. how they treat people. And at the end of the day, man, if you, you, you treat people the way that you want to be treated, people buy into you like, no, he's just a real cool guy. And they really right. want to see you genuinely win. Right. They really want to see you win. AM Cafe right. Morning Show's in the building. Jonathan uh, McDaniel actor <laughs> extraordinaire is with us Jay's with us so uh, let's get back into the mix real, real quick and we'll come back with Jay some more Smoke D what we got what we gonna do um I don't know. So round C. Round C. We're going to play a J joint. What yeah, you, let's what, play a J joint. Well, then let it go then. Don't hold on to it. Say you can't be more on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Jay is rocking with us this whole hour. So, Jay, this Monday is the season premiere of Hit the Floor. Third third season, right? Yes. Third season. Woo! Yes. And when you guys see this third season, I mean, I actually, I got a chance. I went to the private screening last night on the Paramount lot, and I, I saw the first two episodes, and it's been a year just like the rest of the world that I haven't seen. You haven't seen it. Right. And I'm telling you, man, these first two episodes set it off. How does it feel when you... When you now now you're actually seeing the finished product, does it trip you out? Like, damn, man, it does trip me out because I'm like, I'm just like, man, finally, like I get a chance to see something, and so I'm looking for other reasons. I'm looking at the you know the acting, I'm looking at the plot, I'm looking at how it turned out because right. uh, we read the script, we have table reads, so we all know what everyone's doing. But a lot of the times, you know, the schedule and the way that it's shot. You don't get a chance to work with everyone Everybody. every day. Right, right, right And so right. other people are shooting other things when you're not around. And so you get a chance to see other what people's What they've scenes. done. So you don't right. know what's right. going on. Because I read that you guys didn't know who the murderer was at the end of nah. last season. There was like multiple ending shot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you didn't find out that... You know, you were a little shady until the last shady episode. Shady McGrady. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I was in uh, Nashville shooting another film, uh, and they Skyped me in to to see the, uh, the 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 season finale with the cast, and I was just as shocked as everyone because <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I never thought that I was oh. you know, the guy standing oh, up there. Man. Over the staircase, <laughs> looking at Olivia's body. No, when I uh, thought it was you, I was like, no, uh, no. And it's crazy Jay, because, no. like, filming it, it was it was funny because I remember the day we filmed that, and uh, and we all were outside talking about it because they were calling us in one by one. They had the shot set up. They had everyone go up there and stand up there with an, with an envelope. And um, I remember us outside talking like, what if it's you? What if it's you? What if it's you? <laughs> and like. Uh, I was, you know, I was, no one even thought about it was me, and I didn't even think it was me. So when they called me to go up there, there was a couple of takes where I wasn't really being serious. Right. And so they right, had to right. tell me, like, we need you to still be serious. Like, you know, if it could be you. And I was just like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think like it's, it's me. Gotta like, it's got to be me. Right, like, it right. can't be me. So I was like, whatever. But we got the shot. And when I remember, I remember leaving, uh, not having one clue that it was me. And what's funny is everyone, um, 
in the cast and in the network, like everyone got together during one of the table reads when we were reading it because the end of the script, that particular part is blacked out in the script. Wow. And so when we got to that part, all of us reading it, everyone was like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so we all started taking bets. Like everyone pitched in like 10, 20 bucks. Like, let's all put money in and put your prediction in. On who, on who it is. And let's wait to see what's going on. We didn't know we're going to have to wait, you know, uh, to see it then. But then once we finally saw it, we, I mean, everyone was just floored. And I remember sitting back just thinking to myself, like, what's next? What's next? That's right, what right, right. That's hot. Monday next. night. That's right. high. What so, is next? Yeah, third season. I mean, like I said, <laughs> with the way we left you off, we apologize, but we had to leave you off like that because this third season is going to, man, every everyone came came ready came ready came with ready it. on this season and and I, I think there's so much energy like I said from the first two episodes it kicks off so fast so exciting there's so much going on it gets you right back into where you left off so you don't miss a beat you feel like you're you're, you're back you know a year ago right in the, in the same seat and so I'm excited man I can't wait to see what the feeds is going to be on the social with the fans because we always stay connected to them man they're, right. they're the most loyal fans to us so uh, man crush my day <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> you know right. what we should do? In right. Caffeine Show, we should do a weekly hit the floor. There update. it is. That's Rhea's job. Yeah. Right. Let's make that happen. Let's you do that. said let's it. Do let's do you that. You said it. Let's Rhea, go down. So let's do yeah, that. Yeah, weekly, because I'm addicted. So, Rhea, let's do that in, in, uh, when you get out of Lamar's class. <laughs> <laughs> let's hit make him with sure that. Wow. that yeah let's make sure we get that hit the floor wow. weekly update so jay this monday january 18th That's what right. time does it come on it comes on at uh at 10 but the the uh uh originally but for this uh particular premiere it's going to be coming on at nine okay. at but nine. it's actually going to be uh the new time is going to be 10 o'clock okay and how can folks, if they don't already know, how can folks find you on social media? How can we get our double tap man crush Monday on? Let folks know how they can get at you. <laughs> man, y'all hey, hey, Ron Singh, don't double tap on a man don't, crush Monday. Don't, tell, don't double tap on accident, bro. Try to scroll. <laughs> try to scroll. <laughs> uh, that is the worst when you don't want to double, double tap. You just scroll like, oh, oh no. no. Let me go back. Give me my, give my, give my tap back. Give my tap. <laughs> I need my tap back. Can't let them know they saw my tap. Uh, no, but definitely. Definitely, you can check me out Instagram, Jonathan underscore McDaniel. Lil J's back on the Twitter. I am Genius Shout Facebook. Um, you could also check out the website, JonathanMcDanielFans.com. And uh, yeah, man, please stay tuned as of this Monday and every Monday leading after this. Um, make sure you tune in, man. Hit the floor on VH1. It's going to be insane. Like, German. <laughs> Germans on a whole different level on this season, so you know. Yeah, he they, turned crazy. Yeah, can't wait to watch yeah. it. So Jay, yeah. out, outside of obviously hit the floor, any other projects that you're working on, and what, what else do you have brewing? Anything that you can talk about? Yeah, man. Uh, uh, I, I got a, uh, one of my singles. Uh, we're getting ready to uh, to drop it. It's called I Cry. Uh, so check that out on iTunes. Great record. Um, we, we actually shooting a video right now as we speak uh, this week and next week and so uh, I got that I got um, another film that's going to be coming out uh, called My Many Sons it's a basketball film so you can look out for that like I said I got a couple films that's on Netflix y'all, y'all can check out Call Me King In the High Mysterious Ways um, and besides that man just you know what I mean stay stay, stay glued to your boy and, 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 and what's going you know what's to come man it's so dope like I said at the top of the show to see Jay from you know the age of 14 15 right you got to keep throwing that in there no but i'm just you know it, <laughs> he's trying to because, age me bro no, i'm, I'm trying, trying to sun you he's trying to sun you are you trying to sun me dog no, not at all <laughs> what i'm saying is most cats would have fell the hell off that's really what i'm trying to say <laughs> well, i appreciate that brother but he's hung in he, i mean and i appreciate and that. has really taken his career to a, to man. another level so that that's what i'm trying to say ron see i mean what's your name i don't forgot you <laughs> piss me off <laughs> Don't do that, dog. Not when we have guests, like especially light skin cats. You know how they feel about it. You know what Freestyle I mean. Time. Ron C. Ron C. How you gonna let? Do? How you gonna let him talk about light skin cats like Man. that? Low key, Ron Blacky, C. Black, 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 black. Ron C. And little J. Oh, y'all look. Are y'all related? No. Ron C. <laughs> look like he could be my uncle C. Oh, <laughs> uncle Ron C. Uncle Ron C. Uncle Ron C. Uncle 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 C. U
You little J can't rhyme. I don't know if we want to play so oh. I don't know. Okay, little J, what we do? We we put people on blast, man. We just say, you know what? We, I'm gonna play a beat. You just go freestyle. If you can't, he, he got rhymes. Don't ever try. I'll to play spit. I, I'll spit something if Doc spit something. Oh. <laughs> Cause I know Doc got rhymes. Okay. I'm with it. Let me hear Doc I spit something first. Uh, yeah, Doc, come no. on. My, my rhymes is kind of like on some. Uh, Are they kind of ashy? Come on. They're not ashy, but they're crusty. No. Okay, no. sing it. They're singing this. No, well, I'm still on some rapper's delight. Like, I'm still old school. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, he's like the official uh, extra <laughs> member, new edition, yeah, too. If, so. if, you want, if you want some Fetty Wap, I don't got that for you. <laughs> I'm going to let little Jay go. I'm going to let Jay do it. This is what he does. So he had Doc, Doc don't want to get on, huh? Yeah, he's a little scared. Oh, God, Doc, can't uh, Come on, Doc. Doc. Let I it go, Rossi. Come on, Jay. Uh, yeah. Uh. Listen. Check it. Uh. Salute me when you see me. I'm the captain of Lieutenant. Back to handle business. I'm back to handle business. Something like a soldier, but I'm, uh. Listen. Listen. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Listen. Uh. Salute me when you see me, I'm the captain of lieutenant Something like a general, I'm back to handle business On the front line and I'm ready and I'm willing The hot potato competition, yep I will pill him I ain't feeling you, I'm feeling me Maybe it's the real of me, never I pretend to be That's why your girl get into me, uh, vice versa That's why I get into her, gotta flip him in her I ain't spending nothing, boy I'm stunting AM, caffeine, show, you already know Hit the flow, on VH1, Little J Jonathan McDaniel, I done growed up from way back in the days With my boy DOC, you know you know how we do it, yeah, yeah, and you know how we do it, yeah, uh, yeah, bring it back, bring it back, where you at, D.O.C., come on, you supposed to come in right there, I done gave you the introduction, where you at, you supposed to come in right, uh, a hip, hop, hip it, hip it to the hip, hip, hobby, and don't stop, and rock it, it's D.O.C., up the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to me, we got Rhea Bia, Rhea Bia, where you at, girl, you know I see ya, where you at, girl, you know I see ya, Rhea, come Come on, hit us with Come the similar on, yeah. Hit us with the similar mix. Yeah. <laughs> hey! Similac, Similac mix. Similac mix. Similac, Similac mix. Where you at, Similac mix? <laughs> Y'all goofy, hey, man. Hey. Y'all goofy, man. Hey, I'm Cafe Morning Show. Much love, man. I appreciate it. Thanks so much, buddy. Jay, for rocking with Woo! us course, this hour, man. man. Good man. looking out. Appreciate Once y'all. again, check out Hit the Floor this Monday, <laughs> January 18th. Yeah. VH1, yes, 9 sir. o'clock this week and every Monday after at 10, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, every Monday after uh, the premiere uh, Monday, it's going to be the new time, 10 o'clock. Yes. Can't miss it, so check out all the promos that's on VH1. And make sure y'all go to VH1.com, too, if you miss any episodes, any behind the scenes, everything, you can catch everything right there. That's what it is, AM Caffeine Morning Show. Good looking yeah. out, Jay. Ron, say Smooth D, Rhea Bia. We're about to get up out of here, dog. So you know what we do when we leave the building? Okay. In, In your mouth. mouth. Good looking out, JM Caffeine yeah. Morning Show. See you next week. Peace. Yeah. Be going out here with another uh, Lil J slash Jonathan McDaniel. Joe. Let, Let it go. Word, word, word. Daniel D's, 702, 713s, 305, 305, 404, 404, 404, 404, 404, 404,